Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Wednesday, the 21st of July, and these are the charts of the day. Um, today, I'm going to review the short side. We haven't talked about them in a couple of days. Um, and starting off with the ultra shorts, which we've uh, been actively trading and recommending the last couple of days. Um, on, on, the, on the premise that the market may be vulnerable here to a slide, um, taking a look at the BGZ, which is the uh, Direxion Large Cap Triple Bear. This um, has had several spikes up in the last couple months, but is at a low ebb here and consolidating in this range. Now, it's had two big updates in the last four days, that, that including four days ago when the stock jumped, and then it, um, it backed off at resistance around the 16 and a half area. Uh, today, it reversed from 15.17 to 16.05, up 58 cents to 3 and 3 quarter percent on 9 million shares. Watch, this needs to be watched carefully for a break through this line around the 16 and a half level. If that does occur, the market will probably be rolling over, and this thing has a good shot of getting back up towards the 19, 19 and a half area, maybe as high as 21. Uh, so let's set 19 and 21 as our two uh, short-term uh, trading targets. The FAZ um, is another, that, and they all look similar, but you can see the FAZ's on-balance volume line has been slowly increasing over the last three months. Uh, stepping back a bit, you'll see that the stock has resistance up around the 18-19 uh, zone, 18.5, 19 zone, and then a secondary resistance at 22.5. So we'll set that as our two targets. Um, let's call it 19.5 and, and 22.5. And um, if we should get out over yesterday's high, which is 16.72, a move through that with Viam could accelerate, and we'll be looking to see if that does occur. It, uh, next up is the TZA, Direxion Small Cap Triple Bear. It uh, doesn't look quite as strong, but um, it's been um, looking better of late, and particularly today when it jumped uh, from 35.75 to 38.76. Actually, it hit 39.06 at the high. So a jump of $1.91 net, up 5.2% on 20 million shares. It looks like if it gets to 41 and a half, this could be a $45 stock. That's my initial trading target, secondary target up around 50 and lastly, on the, on the ultra shorts for today is the VXX, which certainly doesn't look as good, uh, but could reverse sharply if it gets back over 27 and a half, 28. And we'll be watching for that. If we, we get that, targets at 32 and 36. Now, a move. Uh, let's move over to the box of shorts list and check out some of the stocks in that, la in that list that are looking intriguing, or at least um, are in a mode where we, uh, they've on, been on our list and I want to update you. Notice that almost family cracked hard at the end of June, formed a bear a wedge, and then got hammered out of that, bounced for a couple of days, and made lower lows here. At this point, I would expect to see the stock test at 24 range. My sh shorter term trading target, I would, where there's a big line, the 2021 zone, big line of support going back. Uh, but ultimately, if that cracks, you, you can look for something in the mid teens. AMED in the same family was rolled over very hard of late. Um, breaking down in May and moving lower in June, but accelerating downward <clears throat> in the beginning of this month when it formed a uh, bear wedge as well and then got ga and gapped down through it. Now another bear flag of sorts is forming. I'm not sure how far down this goes, but uh, certainly at this point taking out this level, which is five-year support, could lead to much lower prices. Let's call it uh, the target 20 on this one. Cerner, after a long up move, that took it from uh, the high 20s to the 90 range. The stock has uh, formed a large topping pattern and is at pressing hard on the neckline with support levels here, tagging a new low today at 72.05 before closing, uh, down 276 to 73.55. In any case, uh, the downtrend is enforced, declining tops and bottoms. The next support looks like it could be, uh, or at least a short term target, would be um, around, <clears throat> let's call it 66, or about seven, seven and a half points from here. CFN, Care Fusion has broken a, after a big up move, came down hard in May, formed kind of a right shoulder and then broke down. It's been moving steadily lower, it was down another 97 cents today, and it's approaching the $20 level from uh, over 30. It looks like this one may retest the uh, all time lows created last year around 18. That's our short term target. Conceptus, very negative looking pattern, rolled over in February and March, accelerated. Um, April, May, and June, and then in July, just absolutely got hammered with a big spike down that saw it drop from nearly 16 to about 12. That's currently in a bear flag type pattern, 
or, or perhaps wedge that perhaps maybe was broken today. Stock dropped 23 cents to 12 and a half. It's now down from 22 to 12 and a half. But it looks to me like a move down towards 10 may, may occur, even as low as not, uh, eight and eight and three quarters nine is an outside possibility. Computer Sciences, CSC, a new addition to our uh, list uh, after a nice up uptrend uh, and late 08 and all of 09 topped out from uh, winter, let's just say from September th to March, from the massive head and shoulders top broke down, retested resistance, and then made lower lows. And again, is um, looks like it may be rolling over here. Short-term target around 40.41. Uh, secondary target down around 37.38, uh, 36.37. Drillers have been weak. A diamond offshore collapsed with many of the others in April and May, formed a big wedge here, and we'll see if we can get a breakout to the downside or whether or not it, it reverses course. But so far, this is a consider, considered a bear wedge that, if broken, could lead to dramatically lower levels, at least for a quick test down to the low to mid-50s. Drill Quip, another DRQ, similar pattern, is having a tough time getting back over 50, uh, and where there lies resistance near the top of this big down channel that may be forming. A breakdown here could lead to a full test of the lows around 40.41, our short-term trading target. <coughs> GPN, been in a horrible downtrend since the uh, spike down in January, and has dropped from 54 down to 36, 35.6 range. But doesn't appear to be have arrested this decline yet. Although an important support level was was reached, which caused this bounce. Now, now re resistance in this level may cause the stock to fail in this area and roll over. Ultimately, a, a low down around the 30, 30, one range is our target. <coughs> JDAS, after a big run up, formed a nice topping pattern, broke down hard in June, snapped back, at lower lows, and now it's formed a bear flag of sorts. Um, reverse today. Um, and uh, may be shortly starting a new downtrend. The bottom of that channel is around the 1920 zone. We'll set that as a trading target. JST, Jinpan, at a big two-month bear wedge, was broken with a big gap down, and now another little <laughs> mini wedge is forming that could lead to even lower levels. Let's look for a move down to about 8.5, possibly even as low as 7. OII, another driller, um, with, along with the rest of the group, cracked April and May, snapped back in June, formed a big bear wedge here. Uh, you can, this can be shorted at this level uh, with a tight stop up about 49 and a half thereabout. But a rollover here could get us down quickly back to 39. We'll set that as our trading target. SNN, rolling over hard here, down 282 today, uh, or 6.2 percent, but more importantly took out key support at these lows today with this big gap down and at this point with the way this channel is formed could be leading to lower levels let's call the uh, near-term target around 38 and a half student loan STU horrible declining channel down another dollar today to new lows bottom of the channel calls for a potential move down to perhaps around 18 uh, um, they're about eight let's call 18 18 and a half our trading target on this one and lastly is VCI, which was a Fab 40 member for a long time. It appears to have rolled over finally. You'll see that the channel was broken here, a bear, bear wedge formed, and the stock broke down from that bear wedge. Last bastion of support, or important one, short term, is around the 27 range. If that is broken, I can see the stock making it down to 22, my trading target. Those are some ideas for the short side. It's a treacherous market here, and uh, tomorrow may be a very important day for the indices. We'll see what happens. Have a good evening.